Hi, I'm Craig McLeod and welcome to Drift My Ride. Today we have Scott's Mark 1 Turbo MX-5. And it's snowing! The NA or first generation MX-5 was produced between 1989 to 1997. It was a revolution and created a market for the two-seater not seen since the British sports cars of the 1950s and 60s. With exceptional handling, many believe the MX-5 could do with an increase in performance. Between 1990 and 1991, BBR, Brodie Britain Racing, offered a turbo version of the car which raised the power output to 150 brake horsepower. Now there are a range of kits you can buy, or if you're ingenious enough, you can make your own and give this car the power it deserves. Hello. Nice to meet you Scott, how you doing? Not bad, not bad yourself? You're not bad, you've had a nice wintery drive down, haven't um, you? You could say that. <laughs> how long did it take you to get here? Um, four hours because of the traffic, because of obviously the weather. Yeah. So. Well, so what do we have here? Um, just a Mark 1 MX-5 that I've decided to chuck stupid amounts of money at it. <laughs> so, Never stupid yeah, when it well, turns out like this. <laughs> it's, at, it's, it's at the point of where do you stop? So. Yeah, uh, that point always seems to jump that little bit <laughs> further forward. Though, every doesn't time, it? every time. So uh, we 1.6 MX-5 Turbo uh, and you've done all the work yourself to this. Yeah, so, right. uh, so do you want to tell us a wee bit about, let's start with obviously the big thing, you've turbocharged it. So, yeah. so what, how, how did you go about doing that? Um, many, many hours annoying the missus, um, God bless her for sitting on forums and YouTube and uh -huh. everything, doing much research and then decided to borrow my mate's garage for the evening um, with a little pipe work and everything that I had which actually was two E46 manifolds uh -huh. that were cut up to get the bends that I needed um, cut my standard flange down, welded it all together TDO4 turbo um, off a friend of mine that breaks Subarus uh -huh. um, and then just got a standard eBay oil pressure kit, done that um, so, do you, it was the, so it's a standard EBA oil pressure kit, what's involved in that? Is it um, just a... It's just like a universal braided line, uh -huh. um, ran into an issue with that as well that it turned out to be the wrong thread pitch so I had to tap it to, okay. <laughs> to do the right thing but um, I mean everything is, it's not pretty but it, it's function over fashion yeah. really in the whole thing. So, so you must have a, a experience, you don't just come out and go alright that's just how you're doing it in 10 hours, uh, just like find a <laughs> bunch of stuff lying around the shed that's, A team style and then throw it together. So you no, no it doesn't sound believable, that is literally how it got done. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm one of those people that will go into something and go right it has 99% chance of going wrong and 1% chance of going right let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then if it goes wrong it goes wrong I deal with it later. Have you got anything lockwise to this? Have you got any steering Nothing, modifications? No steering mods at all. Um, it's a standard viscous LSD that comes with these okay. that's in the back. Um, it's just on a set of coilovers really and wide wheels. Yeah. Uh, so, special coilovers, what are they? Did, did, uh, made did. of the finest <coughs> eBay Chinese <laughs> coilovers. But, uh, they do the job. Nah, they do, <laughs> uh, they do. Uh, they were actually picked up second hand off a friend of mine for £25. Pounds. Awesome. So, yeah. Can't go uh, uh, hydro? Yep, that was one that my mate had laying around. So. Oh, it works as well. God, it's really solid. That's great. Awesome. Or does that work? It does that, work. That, that no, good, it does work. Yeah. Huge gear stick. Uh, nice. Is it hard? Is it hard top? Is it? Yeah, hard top. Yeah. Yeah. Hard top. The hard tops do look nice. They really do make sense. I think they really sort out the uh, kind of aligns it. The soft top one, I'm not too sure about, but uh, I really like the hard tops. The You've also got done a, like, the body kit on this is not standard. No, <laughs> um, it's uh, it's a mix of things. It's Should Mazda we start speed. at the front and work our way back? <laughs> well, we've got Mazda Speed front lip, um, uh -huh. Civic Type R side skirts, and a Corsa C front rubber lip thing, I suppose uh -huh. you call it, put onto the back. So I cut that from a Corsa Volkswagen, Vo Vauxhall Corsa. The Vauxhall yeah. Corsa CI, yeah. um, and then just a ducktail fiberglass rear spoiler. The roof spoiler is actually off a Civic Coupe, it was uh -huh. donated off one of my friends um, and then it's just holes cut in the bonnet just to try and keep the temperature down uh, a little bit. But uh, uh, Over fenders as well? Um, yeah, I've got Firefly over arches on the back, I keep uh -huh. forgetting about them because I've got to just put them on not that long ago. <laughs> but, um, that was just to tidy up the back end a little bit. Wheels? Um, they are Japan Racing JR1s I think, I'm okay. led to believe. But there's a lot of reps out there, like the Dares do reps of them and everything, but there's no centre caps with them, so I'm guessing as to what they are. So, yeah. so what is your plans for the car? What are you what are you looking to do with um, it? I think in the near future I'm going to invest in a Mega Square ECU um, mm -hmm. and maybe get that mapped. Um, I'm also wanting to try and get hold of a juice kit, 
okay. which is uh, obviously people like smashing them off the wall up here, I see. Yeah. But, um, fiberglass kit, which I'm wanting to get for it. And What's that comprised of? What's it's that? a front bumper, side skirt, and rear bumper that's made out of fiberglass. Uh -huh. and, um, a lot of people, there's similar style things they put on the E36s uh -huh. with a sort of big flare to them. Uh -huh. It sits slightly lower and there's more ventilation at the front. Okay. So, which is quite good. So what, what kind of power do we think we're putting down here as well? The um, turbo and the 1.6? Pass. I know these supposedly out of the factory come out with 115 uh -huh. um, with the Japanese ones. But obviously with it being a 93, it's probably lost quite a few horsey ponies over the years mm. that ran off from the panic. Of, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'd probably say, as a guess, probably about 180 without yeah. a map at the minute, maybe. That's still a yeah. big jump. Shall we take her for a spin? Yeah, I'm keen. Cool! 100%. Sure? <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's really, really snowy here. Uh, there's, we're probably going to do a little bit of a different track layout because it'll take about half a year to get around uh, what it is. So we'll probably just sit in the middle and we'll get a good idea of the balance of her. Okay. Uh, Power-wise, uh, we could probably be running on two cylinders and we'd still be pulling <laughs> off skids in this. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go have a play. Right, ready? Yep. <laughs> right, it's, it's pretty much a blizzard at the moment. It's way more snow than when we started this. Yeah, so, <laughs> God knows if we'll even take off. Oh, ah, she's got grip, bit of grip. This is really, really slow. Oh, okay, and... Uh, God, I can barely even see where we're going. Right, let's go for a sec. So, we're going to do, we're doing a slightly different layout here. I suppose we could call this the BDC corner. <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to go around here. Figure eight. Oh, she's nice power, isn't it? Power field is really great. Quite a good power curve on it. Yeah. One, too much spin. I don't really know how I'm going to review this, considering there is no grip whatsoever. Visibility is pretty much non-existent as well. Oh, that's a good check. Get some, <laughs> get some demisters on. Did you put any lock? Did you put any spacers in the steering rack? Not at all. Not at all. Well, that's the end of that's the end of lock, right? And then we're still on drift, though slightly on drift. goes round to there. Yay! There we're going! Kind of having to kneel get down just to get through. Oh, there's our gap through the windows and keep coming. Keep... Oh, just too, too much. much. Too much. Just too much. Oh, so much. It's just such a balance at the moment. Well, oh, are we going to get going again? Yeah, we're going to get going. Oh, just, just. Come on, come <laughs> on, come on. Come on. We'll get her off lock. And then, then she'll be able to go. Right, uh, over the hill, it's just because we're on a tiny hill, <laughs> we can't even get up a tiny hill. <laughs> oh, okay, right, now we can see a bit more, that is definitely helping. Right, we can go a bit wider, so we don't need to go on so much angle, it's just a bit more of an easier slide round, and then if you go too tight, then I don't have as much, I have to play with the lock a little bit, right, so we manji in here. I'm just feathering the f and like oh god that's just oh right let's go the other way and then uh, here we go a little it's just if we hit as soon as we hit the what do you call it the hills god oh. it just feels there's no like what do you call it like your car is really tight like and it, like there's no knocks there's no back there's nothing that like, you say that you've pieced this together from loads of other stuff. It doesn't drive like it's some botched together like thing at all. Side, it's yeah. really nice. Go for a big, oh, like a huge big, look how, look how big a, look how big a corner that was. Oh my god, this is so, so easy. And then, and then all the way into this one. The brakes are great as well. Oh, and just a wee bit, what do you call it? we go and it, it, see the one thing about this is like we have no grip whatsoever yet you can still do it and I'm not like it has nothing to do with just my driving by any stretch of the imagination it's just so it's 
it is just so well balanced that you can do this kind of thing in it. Whereas like some things would just be constantly wanting to spin and spin and spin and because it'd be it's really not they're not they're not that predictable. But you know what this thing's gonna do all the time. Yeah. It's just yeah. It's an awesome wee car. I have to say I really love the MX5s they, and this one is not letting me down, <laughs> down at all, dude. This is yeah. And I, I don't obviously I'm not really checking the power delivery because really oh, I, 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 but it doesn't feel turbocharged. I love it. Good fun. Yeah, it is so totally awesome. And up the on ramp, will we get up the ramp? Will we get up the ramp? Will we get up the ramp? And then we slide in and stop. Awesome dude, super cool. Like it's so snowy, I have no idea, <laughs> but it, it, it feels great. It feels like a proper wee weapon. I know we hardly got it. Did we get into boost? Did you even see if we did? No, I think it maybe just went over zero, but... but just <laughs> over just, zero! Yeah, that's a shame. That's <laughs> a shame, but the conditions here are nuts. So, uh, yeah, what can I say? Love it. Love MX-5s. Thank you so much Good. for coming along, mate. No Thank you.